The central nervous system, the brain and spinal cord, yo. The brains in the neurocranium, the spinal cords below. Directions are superior, inferior, dorsal, ventral. Anterior, posterior, lateral, and medial, caudal, and rostral. We examine the brain in sections, coronal and sagittal, as well as the transverse, which is also called horizontal. The brain has five divisions that aid in localization, and there are important structures at each and every station. The telencephalon, diencephalon, midbrain or mesencephalon, pons and cerebellum in the metencephalon, medulla in the myelencephalon. Next, we will cover three key regions of the brain. The brainstem, cerebellum, and cerebrum keep you sane. The brainstem includes the pons, medulla, and midbrain. These structures help involuntary responses sustain. The cerebellum helps you balance and fine-tunes coordination. Its nickname is the little brain, which requires no explanation. The cerebrum has two hemispheres, each with four lobes. The hemispheres exchange signals with contralateral abodes. Note that the left hemisphere lets you understand language. Broca's and Wernicke's areas give you this advantage. The four lobes are the frontal, temporal, parietal, occipital. Movement and problem solving are handled by the frontal. The occipital processes vision. The parietal handles touch. The temporal lobe does hearing, memory, language, oh so much. The outside of the brain is all wrinkled with convolutions. Ridges called gyri and grooves called sulci give surface area contributions. Deep furrows are called fissures. Note the transverse and the lateral. The central sulcus and the largest one, the longitudinal. Besides the skull, the brain has other strong protection, with meninges as a barrier and with CSF shock absorption. The dura mater, arachnoid, and pia mater are meninges. The pia hugs the brain while the dura is on the fringes. The cerebrospinal fluid, called the CSF for brief, provides the CNS with nutrients and cushioning relief. It's produced by choroid plexus in ventricles of the brain and absorbed in arachnoid granulations so that waste can drain. The fox cerebri is between the hemispheres where the dura dips. Before the tentorium cerebelli, through the tentorial notch, the brainstem slips. Four ventricles contain CSF, the fourth, the third, and two lateral ones. In between, through the cerebral aqueduct and intraventricular foramen, the CSF runs. Neurons are the unit of the brain. Ah, back to the essentials. The cell bodies decide whether the axons transmit action potentials. Axons form white matter and are often myelinated, hey, while cell bodies form gray matter and messages relay. Three white matter tracts act as information relays, commissural association projection, the communication highways. Projection fibers go from the cortex to the brainstem and spinal cord. Association fibers go within a hemisphere, bringing its regions into accord. The commissural fibers cross between the hemispheres. The largest, the corpus callosum, links them without fears. Also remember these structures, the insula, extreme capsule, claustrum, external capsule, lentiform nucleus, and internal capsule. The neocortex is involved in higher order brain function, including your perception, spatial reasoning, and cognition. It has six layers, one to six. The allocortex has three or four. It's in the olfactory and hippocampal regions, so you can smell and remember more. The thalami relay motor and sensory signals to the cerebral cortex. Connected by the massa intermedia, it sorts a massive information vortex. Superior and inferior colliculi sit at the brainstem's back. Without them, vision and eye movements would be all out of whack. The hypothalamus sets your body temp and releases hormones galore, and contains the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which runs your circadian rhythms. Snore. The hypothalamus speaks to the pituitary gland, which then produces hormones on a scale very grand. The hippocampus consolidates short-term memory to long-term. The fornix is its major output tract, so keep that memory firm. The fornix leads to the mammillary bodies, then the mammalothalamic tract, so info arrives at the anterior thalamic nuclei intact. Then to the cingulate cortex, entorhinal cortex, and then hippocampus. This is the papa's circuit, emotion and memory it helps grant us. The epithalamus connects the limbic system to other regions. Inside is the pineal gland for your melatonin secretions. Straddling the thalamus, the limbic system brings emotions like satisfaction, along with motivation, behavior, long-term memory, and olfaction. It includes the amygdala, hippocampus, fornix, and nucleus accumbens, hypothalamus, mammillary bodies, as well as other friends. The basal ganglia are a group of subcortical nuclei, like the striatum, substantia nigra, and subthalamic nucleus. Hi. The striatum includes the putamen and globus pallidus of the lentiform nucleus, as well as the caudate, as you'll remember if you are studious. 
If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. You can also support me by following the link to my Patreon. If you have any topics you'd like me to cover, please leave a comment.